Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at steps to perform a clean installation of Windows 11 version 23H2, also known as the Windows 11 2023 update. A clean installation is a process of deleting everything on the drive and installing a fresh copy of the operating system. This will not only help to avoid upgrade issues, but you will be starting with a fresh installation that can help you with system performance and fix existing problems. If you plan to use this option, it is recommended to create a backup before proceeding. Check the video description with the link to the video tutorial and other details. To complete this task, you will need a USB installation media, which you can create in multiple ways, including using the media creation tool from Microsoft and the Rufus tool, which is a third party utility. At the time of this recording, the media creation tool still hasn't been updated for version 23H2, even though the update has already been released. So I will be using the Rufus tool, but I will still show you both method on how to create a bootable media. Finally, these instructions will work for upgrading a Windows 11, as well as for a Windows 10 computer. Okay, let's dive into the steps. So the first option to create a USB installation medium for version 23H2 is to use a media creation tool. And for that, you need to go to the support website for Microsoft, which is this one right here. And then you scroll down and under the create Windows 11 installation media, click the download now button, save that file to your computer, open the location file and double click the executable to launch the application. We're now going to agree to the terms. And then I'm going to use the default settings, but if the language is not selected correctly, you need to clear this option and then select the language that you need. Click next. On this page, select the USB flash drive option. And if you haven't connected the flash drive on the computer, make sure to do so and make sure that that device has at least eight gigabytes of storage. And remember that everything on that drive is going to get erased. So if you have anything important on it, it's recommended to back it up to another location and then click next. I am going to select the drive and I'm going to click next. If you don't see the drive on the list, you can also click the refresh drive list option right here at the top. And now the application is going to download the installation files and it's going to create the bootable media for the new version of Windows 11. Once the application finishes creating the bootable media, you can click the finish button to complete the process and close the application. Now you can either leave the USB bootable media on the computer if that's the device that you're trying to upgrade or connect it to the device that you want to upgrade. Also, you have to make sure that that device can boot from USB and those settings are different per manufacturer and per device. So make sure to check your device manufacturer support website for more details on how to update the value settings. Once you do that, just restart the computer to start the installation. Another way to create an installation media is to use the Rufus tool, which is not from Microsoft, but it works well. And if you want to use that option, you need to go to this website and then on the page, click to download the latest version and save that file to your computer. Now open the location file and we're going to double click the file to launch the application. If you get this option, click yes. And then we're going to click this button and we're going to choose the download option. If you don't see this option, go to the settings page and make sure that the check for updates is set to daily, close, and you might need to restart the application. Then click the download button. Select Windows 11 and click continue. Select the version that you want to install, in this case 23H2, and click continue. Select the edition. Usually you're going to select the Home Pro and Education Edition and click continue. Select your language and click continue. There is only one architecture for Windows 11, so select the X64 option and click the download button. Choose a location to save the file. And now the utility is going to download the ISO file for version 23H2, and then you can continue creating the bootable media for the operating system. Once the application finished downloading the ISO file, make sure to connect the USB drive that you want to use to create the bootable media and select it right here 
and then you can pretty much use all the default settings. The only thing that you want to change, but that is also optional, is to create a label for that USB drive. In this case, I'm just going to name it Windows 11 23H2 USB and anything else you can keep at default. And then click the start button. Also make sure that nothing important is on the drive because it's going to be erased with this application. Now here's where the Rufus tool shines because it allows you to create a bootable media for a device that supports Windows 11 and also for unsupported hardware. So if you have a device that doesn't meet the minimum requirements, you can choose this option right here to bypass the restrictions. And you can also check this option to bypass the Microsoft account requirement that also requires an internet connection. I'm going to clear these options, but if you have a computer with unsupported hardware, you can use those options. Just make sure that you use these options at your own risks. Now to create the bootable media, just click OK, click OK again. And now the tool is going to erase the drive, create the necessary partitions and transfer all the installation files. Again, like using the media creation tool, you will need to leave the USB flash drive on the computer if that's the device that you're trying to upgrade or connect the USB bootable media on the device that you want to upgrade and then reboot the computer to start the setup. And like I said before, make sure that the device can boot from, from USB and you need to change those settings from the BIOS if it is not set. And you need to check your manufacturer support website for more details on how to do those changes. Usually, you only need to start the computer and press one of the functions keys or the delete key to enter the BIOS and change the settings. After the process has been completed, you can close the application. And now we need to restart the computer to start the installation process. Now to start with the clean installation process, click next. And now click the install now button. Now, if the computer had a Windows 10 or Windows 11 installation you can click the i don't have a product key option and the computer will automatically reactivate after the installation now if this is a brand new computer you might want to type the product key but you can also do that later just make sure that the product key matches the edition of windows that you're trying to install so to continue click the i don't have a product key option now select the edition of windows 11 that matches the product key or the previous activation that you had and then click next. Now we're going to agree to the terms and click next. Now to perform a clean installation of Windows 11, we need to choose the custom option. And in here, we need to select each of the partitions and we want to delete those partitions. Now, if you have multiple drives, you only need to remove the partitions from the drive that you want to install Windows 11. So now select the unallocated space on the drive and click next to continue with installation. This part of the process might take some time and the computer might restart multiple times. And now we need to complete the initial setup of Windows 11 and for that we need to we need to start by choosing the region and then click yes select the keyboard layout and click yes if you need to add a second keyboard layout you can do it right here but you can skip and do this later you can skip this step but it's recommended to create a name for the computer And when you click next, the computer might restart. Now select the setup for personal use. And this option is only available on Windows 11 Pro. If you have Windows 10 Home, you won't see this option. And then click next. Now we're going to click sign in to create a account for the computer. I'm going to use my Microsoft account. And when you click next, and when you click next, 
you'll be prompted to enter a password to confirm the account or use the authentication method that you have set up on your Microsoft account. In my case, I'm using the Authenticator app, so I'm going to authenticate with my phone. Although you have been able to restore your computer from backup through the initial setup process, this interface is being updated for version 23H2 because Windows 11 now has a new Windows backup that allows you to backup your folders, apps, settings, and credentials to your OneDrive account. So if you have a recent backup of your computer, you can use it to restore your PC. But if you want to start with a clean installation with none of your files, you can click more options. And here you can find different computers if you have those, and you can choose different backups to restore your computer but I'm going to select the setup as a new PC option. Now we're going to create a pen and click OK to confirm. Now you need to choose your privacy settings and I'm just going to use the defaults and click accept. In here, you can select how you plan to use the computer to allow the operating system to, to personalize the experience with tips, ads, and recommendation from the Microsoft experience, but you can always skip this option. We also are going to skip the connect your phone to your computer option. You can do that later. Now to skip the Microsoft 365 subscription, click the continue without option. And then we're going to decline the OneDrive offer. And we also are going to skip the PC Game Pass offer from Microsoft. And after going through all the offers, the setup is going to finish the installation. And that's it. Now we have completed a clean installation of Windows 11 version 23H2. You can quickly tell that we're in the newest version because we have the option to open Copilot. And also when you open the settings app, you will notice that we have the new homepage. Also, if we go to system and then we go to the about page, we're going to see that the version is set to 23H2. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.